Well, hello everyone. What's in front of the camera there is a whole bunch of beetles. I call them Christmas beetles because where I live, they appear in the weeks before Christmas. And what is very strange, we had this swarm of them. I picked these off the back wire door of the house and there was some crazy frantic activity going on uh, with these beetles. Basically doing uh, what you can see in there on the back door. Uh, I've got no idea what's going on here. I'm not an entomologist. I'm hoping that someone out there understands this phenomenon. Um, I've never seen a frenzy like this before. Uh, we've had a very, very big, or we are having a very big cicada year this year, and I've just never seen Christmas beetle activity like this. It's quite unusual. I'm going to take a gamble here, and I'm going to unload these beetles into this tray here. I've got a funny feeling they're preoccupied with doing whatever they're doing there, that they won't fly away and infest my garage. <laughs> Could be the silliest move I've ever done. Here we go. Crazy, crazy beetles. We might get a clearer look at them once we're on this tray. There's a few stuck up on here. Then you get boys. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're going everywhere. So what's going on there? Can anyone identify this activity? Is this like some sort of um, mating ritual? Or are these males trying to be dominant? I don't know how these guys operate, they're going everywhere, guys. <laughs> this is a beetle mania. I think they're working out, they've got freedom, some are taking flight. Well, who knows they're beetles? Can people tell boy or girl beetle? I certainly can't, they all look the same to me. But I've never ever seen this sort of frenzy, it's just fascinating to watch. A few of them have taken off, but there's a couple of clumps of them which are in this sort of, whatever it is, mode. Can't say certain words on YouTube because we're dealing with a G-rated network. Oh man, oh man. Look at that. That is action. There's the other clump there. Of many clumps. Having some fun. Maybe looking at those guys there, we can sort of work out what's going on. I don't know, to me it looks like fighting. Um, I may, oh no, hang on, maybe it's something else. I just saw something that I maybe didn't want to see. You can almost look at this for hours, these guys. Well, I could. They're fascinating. And that there's quite an intense little clump. Very, very interesting, all connected up there. And it was funny, my daughter was watching this, and well, someone's watching this as well, and I was saying, well, they're biting each other. Well, maybe they are biting each other. But these guys, they've got fairly strong claws. Um, if you ever put them in your hand, they, they feel like the claws do feel quite strong. I say there's, a, there's a black one there and a brown one. What are you going to get when those two get together? Um, but they're quite safe to pick up. Um, and it's always around Christmas time. They seem to be in numbers. But I've never seen a frenzy like this. This is the first time for me. There's another little huddle of beetles doing their thing. And there's a bit like a, well, we're sitting in the Colosseum looking down at the beetles doing what they do. A bit like a spectator uh, vantage point. And we can see the different clumps of them doing their thing. There's some over here, intense little clump there. Another clump here. These guys look like they're trying to escape, but they don't know how to fly. And there is a clump over here. Very, very intense clump, that one. And all through my workshop, there are beetles. <laughs> I'm hoping I'll put a light on outside. And what these guys will do is I will just basically chase the light. Um, because what they did, I think they went to the kitchen door because they were chasing the light of the house. And uh, it looks like they're chasing other things at the moment. I think the other interesting thing is because there are so many of these guys about, there's a lot of uh, spider webs or cobwebs around the house. And this is the spider time of year that you get garden spiders and stuff. And a lot of these beetles are getting caught up in cobwebs and that's food for the spiders. Like I've never seen anything like this. I thought I'd seen it all until tonight. And there was just this beetle frenzy. Beetle mania. Remember beetle mania? I was a bit young for beetle mania. I missed out on all that. But boy, the people who went through that had the best times of their lives. Well, I'm learning something here. But um, I'm going to need the audience to tell me what I'm learning. <laughs> because, uh, like I said, I'm not an entomologist. I just see stuff which I think looks interesting. And I try to put it on camera. 
Oh, they're quite interesting, these guys. <laughs> they make some sort of kooky sounds with their claws, and when they fly, they've got quite an interesting little buzz to them. Well, the numbers have certainly thinned out a bit, but they're still little clumps of, that, clumps of activity, clumps of joy, clumps of fun. And like I said, I could sit here and probably watch this for hours and end. It's much better than what's going on on TV at the moment. I wonder if these guys can sing Love Me Do. Or is the song they're going to be singing Help? <laughs> I could do a lot of Beatles jokes, but let's not do them, eh? This is quite a serious video. It'd be probably in the educational area, because that'll be the way that I can get away from it being flagged. Well, these guys certainly aren't singing for the benefit of Mr. Kite. I think it's one of those other songs the Beatles did. I'm hoping that there'll be some entomologists who look at this and they can identify what's going on, exactly what's going on here, and if there are male and female activities. But um, it's interesting that, that a lot of them had flown away, and um, but there's certainly other ones which are, well, basically, I would just say, engaged. Looks like that little group there having a bit of a slow dance. And that group there, who knows, it may be Austin Powers in the middle of that clump. I bet you these guys never thought they were going to be caught on camera. The most famous Beatles in the world. Well, apart from, you know, that other band. And for that guy there, it looks like it was all too much for him. I'm going to do something quite stupid. I'm going to pick up this clump here and see if they stay connected or whatever they're doing. Let's see if we can get a very, very interesting look at this. They're in my hand. They're in my hand. They're staying together. You see weird stuff, you video it, and you put it up on YouTube. That's generally the way it works. And that, uh, what, what we call this group of beetles there, obviously so intent on what they're doing that uh, even my intrusion doesn't stop them or break them up and will leave them there to do whatever they're doing. And what's really interesting is there's these guys who just look like they're just idle. They just look like they're dead. Do these guys die um, after they've been through this? There's just very little activity out of some of these. Um, like I said, I really need an entomologist, someone who knows what they're looking at, to explain fully what's going on. I mean, I'm, that's the beauty of when you get an expert. Forget going to Google and just, you know, Google search, you know, beetles, I don't know, whatever these guys are doing. If you get someone who's an expert at um, seeing this stuff, they come in and they just go directly to the answer. Because um, a lot of the stuff, you it's so generalized, a lot of the information on a Google search, that um, it's sort of no help at all. I like to hear it from someone who's taught, uh, has been taught this stuff and is educated in it. Look at that guy there, there's very little life from him. I wonder if he's dying. That's very interesting, isn't it? Come on, are you okay? Oh, have you... Um Done your dash. There's no life in him, I tell you. It's interesting, it, um, for a while it goes very quiet, and then all of a sudden it seems to get, you know, activity really ramps up again. We're just going to one of the times when the activity ramps up. There's some very quiet clumps of beetles, and there's some very, very active ones as well, and there's some which look like they're dead, um, just completely uh, motionless. Well, I'll probably better leave it at that. You've probably seen enough of these beetles going crazy. Uh, I just found it to be intensely interesting. Um, hopefully it's something that you're interested in as well. And hopefully there's going to be someone who knows what they're looking at and can explain to us what's going on there as some beetles take flight. And I've got a big clean up if they don't get out of my garage. Good night, beetles. I hope you're having fun. If you've lasted the end of this very, very different video, I'm going to thank you and bye for now.